Hi there, my name is Khalifa and today we're going to talk about Staffordshire Oatcakes. As you know, Staffordshire Oatcakes are considered one of the delicacies here in Socon Trent. And actually, a funny thing about its, its history to begin with, there are some myths that Staffordshire Oatcakes were actually made in Scotland. Okay, one of the popular myths links the uh, making of Staffordshire Oatcakes with the British colonies in India. This happened due to the fact that uh, the British soldiers were really, uh, uh, really loved the flatbreads and they tried to emulate them in Staffordshire. Thus, Oatcakes began its history. Okay, after talking about the history of Oatcakes, now we're going to talk about uh, some facts about Oatcakes. Actually, there is a lot of different variations of Oatcakes, such as in Scotland, they use the griddle in order to make Oatcakes. Even Derbyshire and Lancashire have a lot of different variations of, of Oatcakes. Are Oatcakes really that famous? As you know, here in Socon Trent, they considered Oatcakes to be a national symbol. And there are, there are a, lot of tem a lot of attempts to make it international, such as uh, big supermarkets uh, providing them, like Sainsbury and Tesco's. Even though with the, uh, the international attempts to make, uh, to make Staffordshire Oatcakes really famous, there is a lot of shops here in Socon Trent are closing down since 1945. It's the third day of our shooting and we are at Kiel University as usual. Today we are going to interview the people and ask them how they feel about our cakes. Searching for some guys for the interview. Hopefully we will find someone. Searching for people for the interviews is so hard. I'm so tired at the moment. Today we are going to interview the people and ask them how they feel about our cakes. We are going to ask about four questions and they will be the food that is coming to their mind when we talk about Staffordshire. Uh, that would be oat cakes, I think. Oat cakes? Oat cakes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Staffordshire oat cakes, yeah, I'm sure. Um, oat cakes, I think. Staffordshire oat cakes, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I've not really been here long enough to know, like what what pizzas, <laughs> I suppose, because there's so many pizza stores when you go down the, the road. But yeah, probably Staffordshire oat cakes. Um, have they ever tried an oat cake? Yes. Mm, no. Yeah, I eat them probably weekly. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> What might be their favourite type of oat cakes, even though they have not tried? They're sweet usually, with some syrup or sugar. Uh, bacon cheese with tomato sauce. Right. Cheese. cheese. With cheese. I think um, cheese would be okay. Cheese. I think you can get bacon and cheese in it. So probably bacon and cheese, even though that's probably not a com good combination. I'd like to try that. Um, can you get beans on them? I don't know. Yeah, I'll have beans on that as well, yeah. <laughs> Mm, cheese, I think. And finally, have they ever made an oat cake on their own? Uh, not, not from scratch, I actually made the oat cake, but I buy the oat cakes and do my own toppings. I, I did try, but it wasn't uh, a success. <laughs> no, I don't make it myself before. I think. No. <laughs> no. no. So we are currently at Kiel University and we are walking to ST5 Takeaway where we can buy delicious oat cakes. Let's go. A few minutes away from the oatcake shop, I'm feeling very hungry. 
Let's go quickly. Damn, it's closed. Anyway, it's all right. We'll come back tomorrow. So today is the second day which we are coming to SD5 and I hope it's open. Let's see. Hello. Have you got any oat cakes? Yes, we do have oat cakes. What are types of oat cakes do you have? We've got cheese and bacon, cheese and onion, cheese and tomato or cheese and bean. Can I have a cheese and onion oat cake please then? Cheese and onion, that's £1.20 please. Thank you. So we are at the SG5 takeaway. Nathan is with us, um, who's going to make us a delicious oat cake with cheese and onion. Okay, this is a traditional Staffordshire oat cake, which is a type of flat bread made with oats. We have uh, various fillings which can be added, but the one we're making today is going to be cheese and onion. Just let that cook off for a couple of minutes. Okay, so this has been on for a couple of minutes now. Let's get it off and see how it looks. Cheese and onion oat cake. Thank Cheers, you. mate. So this is the oat cake which Nathan cooked, and it looks very delicious. Let's see. Perfect. After baking the oat cakes, we can add some fillings. You can add whatever you want, but in this case, we're gonna add some baked beans and cheese. So we're gonna use some Dutch cheese today, and you can use whatever kind of cheese you like, and we're gonna use some baked beans. Try not not filling uh, filling it up with the beans because it will be an excess and you will have a really bad day cleaning. And now we're gonna fold it, fold it up. I do need to to be sure that all of the baked beans are inside. Okay, so gotta, uh, gotta put it in the microwave. So follow me. For the best result, leave it for two minutes in the microwave. So now it has finished and the cheese is melted. Bon appetit! It smells delicious. I gotta let Oops try it. After we've done uh, cooking it, I gotta give it to, to, to Oops to try it. Thank you. Really nice. Thanks a lot, Khalifa. You're welcome, no worries, my man. So we are done with our video finally, and I'm glad we finished it. I hope you liked it, and thank you for watching. Cheers, bye. <laughs>
coming to their mind when we talk about those kicks. Let's go. Uh, about this one will be, and then why? Now we can add everything, anything that. Uh, 